Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how the dynamic panel changed in actual RP10, the beta version. That said, uh, let's go straight to the video, but before, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell and uh, put a like, a comment and that said, let's get started. So here we are inside Actuar. So how the dynamic panel uh, in Actuar RP10 beta works. Actually, just drag and drop a dynamic panel from the libraries. And uh, here we are. Here you can see we have a new, uh, complete different uh, view of a dynamic panel because the first thing that we see is that we have a contextual menu that is really, really interesting actually. Why it is? Because if you drag stuff inside the dynamic panel, for example, you double click. If you double click, the, the concept is exactly the same of, of before. So in the page, you can add elements inside the dynamic panel. So for example, like you can put you know, an image inside or uh, a button inside. And actually, the, it's, it's really, really as before. You can uh, click on fit to content and that's it, right? So you can uh, drag, you can uh, do whatever exactly as before. But the good thing is you can add states from uh, this contextual menu, uh, add state two, state three, state four, etc., 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 And you can so uh, move from one state to the other directly uh, from the, the dropdown list. Or even, even this, this is actually amazing, I think uh, was something really subtle but really uh, useful that they added, that is uh, basically the, the change of state with the arrows. So you can actually go back and forth uh, from each state and work on each state directly in, inside you know, the, the same uh, canvas in the same page. So uh, on the second, for example, I can put a heading and uh, I don't know, um, a paragraph again, something like that. Uh, okay, so a paragraph in the state two, I go on the state three and I create my state three, right? So it's really, really more um, flexible. And, and the best things ever is that now you can click on this little icon, view all states, and when you click it, voila, you enter in a new world that was not there before, and you can actually see the states of each dynamic panel side by side, and this is actually amazing. Actually, it's, it's amazing. And you can, of course, uh, start uh, work on each uh, one of them, and you can add new uh, states directly from here, from this interface, and you go back and uh, you can see it in the context. This is actually amazing. This is, uh, actually it's mind blowing because uh, it changes a lot and uh, from my point of view, they did uh, a, good, uh, a good choice for this. And this is the new way on how dynamic uh, panel works into Axure RP10. And also this video is finished and I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Bye.